And today is Friday, November 1st, 2019, and I am attending my first day at the Houston International Book Festival. And I am just waiting for them to open. We got here early so we could get good parking. But I want to show you some displays. They've got like sneak peek display out here by the main information center where you have the desk. And I just thought that I would show you this because I don't remember seeing this last year. So over here, they kind of have card things for certain vendors if they have them. And I don't know if they're like anything in there that's with a discount, but I'll check that later. But I just thought that I would show you. They have a card stand here. And then around the corner, they have display cases that have some of the vendors information included and here's AccuQuilt then this next one is 70 it's so boutiques just to show you a sampling of what might be in the booths this is studio cat design where you have the bags and then over here is Block Lock Foot Boot Camp with the Block Lock I thought last year when we saw them, I thought the vendors just had them. Oh, because and then the various the patterns, the pumpkin and they're so, they're so stack is really and pretty. So tiny. And then we have Studio 180 Design, Deb Tucker Rulers, Sally Tomato Bag Making Supplies. The Aliso booth. So cherry wood hand dyed fabrics. The Japanese sashiko is here. The Komono Mumu booth is here. <laughs> and what's even nicer, it's got a double side. <laughs> This look like um, those lamps. Tiffany, I'm just showing you some of this, so I'm kind of skipping because people are looking at it. Don't want to put them in the camera. In the hoop is here. Uh, no, not in the hoop. It's a custom keepsake machine embroidery. They're showing a lot of their in the hoop projects. Gourmet quilter is here. Got Canada Paula Brazil. Soki. All about blanks. Pro Chemical Dye. Turtle Hand Boutiques. Fran Design Studios. And Franz, I talked with them a little bit last year, and they're a group of women fabric designers who are making and selling fabric. And on the bottom, we have Modern Fabrics. Oh, this is still um, Paula Brazil. So, I will come back to you guys inside of the quilt show. So, we are now going to start our quilt show display. I'm looking already. Isn't that cute? That's by Lola Jenkins. Respect all human rights. It's very nice. Here's Miss Lola Jenkins. <laughs> Susan Lenz. This one is Lyric Kenyard. Thank 
Caro Cosmo. Francis Ingersoll. And it's a lot of people in here. I could not record this show early because I don't have a vendor pass. So just know you may not see the full quilts in a lot of these shots. This one is Natalia Aikens. Susan Ingram. Here is Cindy Cooksey. And this is a Better World exhibit sponsored by Equalter. This is still a better world exhibit. This one's Harriet Tubman. I'm so sorry. You okay? I walked right into you. It's okay. It's gonna happen all day. <laughs> it is okay. Leo T. Ransom. I've never heard of him. And this is Alf, the explosive inventor, Alfred Noble. Still more of the Better World exhibit. Nice.
very nice. Dean-ness here. <laughs> Very nice. Sorry. Okay. So we've got the connecting threads uh, training centers where you go and you can listen to various presentations for free and I am looking for I think that section there I'm hoping that those are the 45th commemorative quilts but we'll go back up on this other side first it's a nice log cabin quilt the logs are about one eighth of an inch <laughs> they do not look like a quarter very, very detailed. It's called Jewels by Amy Paps. And over here, we have like a whole log cabin display. This whole display is Amy Paps. Very nice. And I don't know if it continues around the corner. Yes, it does. Log Cabin 1000K, sponsored by the Sewing Machine Plus. Right. So even her flying geese, her little log cabin blocks, everything. It's beautiful. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no joke. Oh, this blue yeah. light. Beautiful. Love that. Very gorgeous. This one's called Dizzy Born Raising. <laughs> And so this whole log cabin, when she's done, she has over 100,000 pieces in this whole series of log cabin quilts. And then she has like for each quilt, how many pieces each quilt actually contributed to that 1,000. Very nice. So this flag log cabin has the 5,480 pieces. And here, So we're going to go over to this exhibit. I'm not sure what it is, but let's go find out. <laughs> Beautiful blue quilts. So, 
Yeah, this is the part of the celebration. It's the sapphire celebration. So we'll start with this quilt here on the end. Been a quilt teacher for years. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you're a good one. <laughs> Beautiful quilt. Just gorgeous. Just like a log cabin in a triangle or strips. No, they're just strip sets and triangles. So here we go. They're just turned differently in some parts of the quilt. They're just strip sets, two different sizes. Well, maybe three different. Uh, there are a lot of different sizes. <laughs> I'm thinking it's one different size, but then I look at two and then I'm like, it's a lot of different sizes of strip sets. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So it's at least one, two, three, four, five different sizes of strip sets. It's pretty cool. Uh huh. The strip sets. The, no, I mean the the strips themselves seem to all be the same width. It's yes, a and it's a how, how many, white how many you put on them. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. Thank you. Because I'm looking at it through the camera, and I'm like, it's changing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it's the a thing. Very, uh, optical illusion. Uh huh. I love very that. Yeah, and then we have a sampler quilt here. It's beautiful log cabin blocks in it as well log cabin here I know my camera is wobbly y'all I'm tired <laughs> already I have a storm at sea here Hawaiian applique. Beautiful. <laughs> and these blocks here, I actually show you how to make on my blog. On my YouTube videos. <laughs> Quilting on it is beautiful too. a lot of the sapphire celebration quilts out here. Wow. There's another whole row of smaller ones right behind this wall. Yeah. It's the um, oak leaf pattern. Another one of the star quilts with the log cabin. And a mariner's compass quilt here. Let's go see that. But maybe I shouldn't aspire to a quilt. Maybe I should aspire to a quilt. Oops, sorry. sorry. Feathered star here. Just gorgeous. Beautiful quilting on this one. Quilting in the background here. So it's gorgeous. So I think how I'm going to do this show is I'm just going to show you some of the special exhibits and then okay. go from there. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to show you the entire show. This is still the Sapphire celebration. It's lots of people everywhere. Look at all the people over there looking at the quilts hanging up. It's just 
people everywhere. Nice sample quilt here. I love this. It's called The Stars at Night by Sherry, and it's made by Sherry Songhurst. It's a beautiful quilt. Just gorgeous. Very nice. Design source is stars and chains, a ring around the star, and sawtooth star. Bear paw quilt. Very nice. like for these quilts they have them in this book here but we definitely will not be able to do that we have so many quilts this is very difficult to show on camera so sorry Sides where it's up high, we'll just go ahead and get those out of the way. Do it over there by that quilt. No. 
And then we've got quilts all along here. We still haven't seen of the same exhibit. So we'll start here. Very graphic quilt. And then while I'm far away, we can look at that one for graphic. And a feathered star here. I know a lot of you all are going to be really dizzy this time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. It's a lot of people in here. I've already bumped into quite a few. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're okay. <laughs> uh -huh, you're welcome. Very nice. Sampler quilt. And let me see if there's any on this outside area. It's a desk over there, so we'll come back to that. Very nice. Big stitch. It's nice. Hi, uh, Hi, how are you? Good. Good. Look at the stitching. Very nice. Sashika. So. Go ahead. You're okay. Do you know if they have a list of the quilters? That are in the center there. It's in a it's there. a stand on the app on that side. Oh, okay. That has right a there. book. Uh huh. It has a book with all the quilts up oh, there. Great. Mountains and it doesn't say uh, the maker is unknown, but I just it feels and looks like an antique. It's very nice. Now, this is different. This is cute. The, um, Octagon star. I wonder if somebody hand tatted that or if it's on a cotton thread. I don't think I've shown you these two here. 
And then I think I have a few over here and then I'm going to go to the trash to treasures for the pineapples with Galen Fitzgerald so we'll see these and this one is four patches and half square triangles sorry I am I don't know why I can't keep my camera straight today I might need to put the other leg of my monopod down so I can just put it on the ground this is cute instead of just the three in a corner they added the opposite fabric and put one in the square it's very nice Skip block and I don't know what this one is called they're calling it quit mosaic it's on point so I'll turn you so you can see the block here that's your block okay so I'm gonna come back at the trash to treasures exhibit so here we are at the 10th anniversary of the Trash to Treasures Pineapple Challenge with Gailene Fitzgerald. So I just thought I'd show you some of these quotes. These are not all made by her in this exhibit, but I think these in the front are. to go down and see who these are made by. <laughs> so that first one I just showed you was a made by April Sawyers. And this one is made by Joanne Baggett. This one is made by L and D. This rainbow looking one is made by Carolyn. Let's see if I can get her last name. Volor? Veer? I can't see it because we've got people there. This one's, she calls it Pineapple Birds. <laughs> it's by Nancy Powell. Pineapple Swirl by Mary Jean Redman and Gail Samerlo made this one here. It's called Midnight Sun from a Galloping Horse. This one is by Fiona McMillan. She calls it Trash to Treasures Modern Mash. Another one by Gail Samuro. Pineapple Zebra with Attitude. And the last one on the end I'm going to is Trading Picks by Julie Moran, which is this one here. They did a beautiful job with that. I wouldn't mind. That one I just showed you is by Judy Mancini. And this one is Surf, Sea, Sun, and Sand by Cosette Blackmere. This is a glass pineapple by Yolanda 
Daytona. Very beautiful. Love the neutrals with the color here and there. Very nice. They put leaves in some of theirs for the uh, pineapple tops. Very nice. Love that idea. It's roses in the melon patch. And it's by Susan Buckingham. This one is Rain Down by Sharon Parcell. I like how hers gradually lose its color. I'm gonna back up so you can see that. You okay? You got your picture? You okay? Okay. This one is by Karen Gerby's Pineapple Glow. And then this one is Pineapple on the Grand Canal by Angela Parcell. Whoops. My walking stick. <laughs> this one here is by Carrie L. Dobos. Trash to Treasures Pineapple Quill No Brainer. Very nice. This is Pineapple Pizzazz by Shakita Pearson. See, I could never do that because I would never, I could never. So this is one of the tea quilters, quilt here, very nicely done. <laughs> Give you a close up. And it was quoted by Rebecca Drum. This one here is Thinking About Pineapples on a Winter's Day by Nancy Baltz. Quoted by Marina Bodian. Very bright. Very bright. And then this one is Catherine M. Copper Scraps. Well, serendipitous schooling scraps. Very nice. It's got fish <laughs> in the fabric for the border. It's very pretty. Alright, so I am going to walk around for a bit, see what I can find, and then I'll come back. I just thought I would show you the entrance into the vending area from one of the side entrances from where the quilts are and you can see all those tags hanging with the numbers 100 200 yeah they go all the way back down there <laughs> those are all of the vendor aisles so i'm gonna walk a few of the vendor aisles i'm not sure how much i'm gonna record in here because a lot of the vendors do not like for their booths to be shown but i thought i would at least just walk in and show you a little bit we're over here by the learning center you can see where all the people here are learning tips from the experts and then i think there's a third side as well lots and lots of vendors are here So you can see all the way back that way, all the way up that way. So I'm gonna look at some vendors and I'll be back. So I just had to pop back in and show you this really large quilt for Worlds of Quilt Travel. So if you wanna plan a quilt vacation, this is the place to go to. Is it worlds, worldofquilttravels.com? Your website, Wells of Tribble, Travel, 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 Travel
to go see their website. It's awesome. They got plenty of information here. Here it is on a card for you. So if you want to plan a quilting cruise, land trip, other countries, this is the place to go to. I'll see you later. <laughs> Hi, it's T, and I am here with the meet and greet on Friday at 1.30 p.m. So, I'm um, sorry if you weren't able to make it. I know we can get busy while we're in those aisles, but I do have a group of people here that I would like to just do a pan of. If you all want to say anything, you can if you like, but I'll just do a pan of the group. <laughs> I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Diane from Atlanta. Hi, she's Kim Atlanta. Check out the Pineapple Quilts Trash Treasure Anniversary, 10th Anniversary. Yes. Fitzgerald. <laughs> and I've already videotaped it. Beverly from Houston. Yes. St. Louis, Kevin. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's my friend. <laughs> and it is Saturday, Saturday, November 2nd, 2019. My second day at the International Foot Festival in Houston and we are starting off our day. I have already gone in and bought some thread from Superior Threads and I took it back out to the car and I thought that I would just show you an overview of what the layout looks like at the Houston vendors. I don't normally walk up and down the aisle because a lot of the vendors don't want their items photographed. So let me show you what it looks like from the top. I'm on the second level. And this is what you see. So all of these vendor booths here, and you can see where they have numbers in the aisles. If you look back there, that's number 1400 straight ahead. They start at 100. So there is about 25 aisles of vendors. So if we go this way, 100 is all the way down there, which I can't even show you out of this window here. And then it goes all the way down to 2,500 over that way. So just want you to see the magnitude of vendors that are here selling their wares. Right here in front looks like we have quilt samplers booth. Let me zoom in so we can read that. No, it's not. It is actually pineapple fabrics. And they just happen to have this sign over here that says quilt sampler top shop. So this is pineapple fabrics booth here. But isn't it just amazing? And it looks like they have about the space of four or five booths. So just amazing. But lots of vendors. I am at aisle 2000. I just tend to start at one end, walk up and down. That's what I did yesterday. And then so I'm going to go back and finish that just so I can know who all is here. I have purchased some things that I want to show you in a haul or I want to do some videos on as well. I got a, uh, at least one item that's a product review and then a charity group here. I want to do a separate video on for you. So yeah, I do I have been just looking at things that I think will make good for videos or something you might be interested in. So I have purchased some patterns from a lady who was in Brazil, I'll show those in the, um, in the quilt hall, but yes, having a great time, lots of vendors, it is like, it seems like it's less vendors or vendors are taking up more space, which also means that there's less vendors, but it looks like we've got more breaks in the aisles than we normally have at International Quilt Festival, so looking forward to it, I'm going to go finish 
the vendor rolls. I got five or six more to go. And then I'm going to go back and show you show you all some more quilts today. So I will chat with you all later. Bye bye. Hi, it's T and I am going to show you the winning quilts. And I'm not quite sure how much more you're gonna see of this show, but I at least wanted to put the winning quilts into this video. So this is Gamble's Master Award for Contemporary Artistry, $5,000 $5, award winner. And this is the quilt. Looks like you can go right into that quilt. This is the information on it. And then around the corner. Beautiful work. Sure, it's hand red work. Very nice. I think. I don't know. Technique is machine quilting, computer guided, and free motion. Machine piecing, hand applique, and hand embroidery. Yes, yeah, so it looks like it's done by machine, but it's all hand work. This is in the group category, second place. This one here is take five. It's in the and then we have the first place over here in the group. It's called Maasi Women of Kenya. I'm sure I butchered that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wanted to show the winners. And I'm looking for third place ribbon. Otherwise, I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> I have no idea where it's at. Third place is right here. So right here is third place. It's called two degrees Celsius. Very nice. And we have Elna Abstract Large. Look like we've got an honorable mention here. This quote is called Beats. <laughs> Circles quilt here is third place. It's called Six Roses. I guess they are roses. Isn't that something how you can see the perception on that? Very nice. Third place. Have second place here by Maureen Johnston. It's called Sowing Seeds. No, thank you. I'm just going through the front. <laughs> okay. I appreciate that. Very nice. And the quilting is simplistic straight line stitching that just really don't overtake the quilt. It's awesome. And even through the whites, they use this copperish color thread that doesn't overtake the white. It's amazing. <laughs> Oh, sorry. No sorry. This one's called At the Circus. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Just gorgeous. It's 
quote here is first place tiger's eye and this one here since i'm here This is the FOF Master Culture Award, $5,000 prize. Wow. Called Champagne Supernova by Merlin Badger out of St. George, Utah. Very nice. And then RJR's. Robert S. Cohen Master Award for Traditional Artistry out of, uh, made by Molly Hampton McNally out of California, USA. Very nice again. Let me zoom in on some of this quilting so you can see this. Imitating the fabric in the quilting. It's very nice. And I'm just going to continue to go down here and get all of the prize winning quilts where they've got cash payouts. Got the designer here of this quilt that won Superior Threads Master Artistry Award. <laughs> yeah, I put, um, when I know that I'm going to thread the oh, I wish I could get this to turn. Every once in a while it does. I'm never sure what I did. Right here we've got well, the Koala I Studios. Um, so I Innovative do Artistry, $5,000. Made by yes. Natalia yes. Lashiko. Well, if I know I'm going to show you some of them. Ooh, really look at that. Because sometimes I have more layers of these little. Um, I do sometimes just do the raw edge applique. And when I do that, if I know I'm doing that, I'll use uh, some too light. Because you can pick it up and move it, reposition it, and that's kind of nice. So here, $7,500. Award, International Quilt Festival prevent, presents the Founders Award. So this is the award for, I'm assuming, Best of Show. No, not really. Well, I don't know. This quilt is called Naturalist Notebook by Sandra Lichner out of Albany, Oregon. Yes. <laughs> I mean, look, when I write dress from high school, there was no computer. Yeah. <laughs> there was no problem. Yeah. It's like, it's a big deal. I want you to Sorry? You're okay. Next up is Handy Quilters Best of Show Award. So this is Best of Show, $12,500. I think we need to make quilts and submit. Let's see, Crazy for Eve, I think, by Janet Stone out of Overland Park, Kansas. Wow. <laughs> wow. Just. I'll go take a picture or I put the camera on the information down there so you can read about the quote. But this is best of show. It's just gorgeous. So here is the information on the quilt here. Hi 
Hi, how are you? Doing good. This is Baby Locks World of Beauty Award. I got the designer inside. It's $7,500 award. Quality is what it's called. By Hollis Shetland. quilted in to the quilt that's what she's reading it's gorgeous let's see if I can zoom in on a spot that has some words for you you know a lot of people have want me to publish on my website all of the quotes it took me a very long time to find all the quotes I actually dreamed the dream left the her was a beautiful sky and as I approached, I could see the sky was all full of quotes. I painted the quilt in the winter of 2015, and I started 100 quotes. And then in June of 2015, I so, stopped. Now, this here is where I am probably going to end this video, probably. I think I am just going to walk around without looking through the lens of a camera. It's been a long two days because we've been trying to brush and put so much into it but I think I need a break and I just left Diane 57 and I am just going to walk around for a little bit enjoy the show go into some areas where you're not supposed to photograph so I'm gonna see you all later <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you, are we on? Are you actually doing something? You're lying. <laughs> Look. <laughs> have anything you, you want to say? I, I have had the best time here at Houston Quilt Festival, thanks to Homestead Bar. I've just ha I've met so many wonderful quilters here. It's been great, and I've had a blast with my good friend T and Ann. So. <laughs> Are you still working? I am. I Hi, everybody. I am good and tired, and it is about 20 minutes before the show closes, and I have been sitting for about the last half hour, and I uh, just realized somebody just texted me and said that I missed the Lola. Jenkins portrait display so I will not be having that in this video because I am not gonna run over there and get it I am just tired but uh, this is going to end this video for our trip to the Houston Book Festival we are driving home tomorrow morning so I'm not gonna be vlogging any of that but thank you all so much for watching please like this video give it a thumbs up please and uh, share it with your other quilting friends. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.